Costco taketh away, but Costco also giveth back. From sweet, sweet pastries to savory and nutty snacks, these are the disappearing Costco products that made a big comeback. Muffins are a huge hit at Costco. Blueberry, double chocolate, and poppy seed make up the core flavor lineup. But shoppers were also once able to enjoy another delicious variety known as almond poppy seed. These jumbo pastries were sold in six packs for years, until they were mysteriously pulled from shelves indefinitely. Compared to the regular poppy seed muffins, almond poppy seed offers a nutty but sweet undertone that you don't encounter very often. Then, in April 2021, the Costco Hot Finds Instagram Instagram spotted this elusive pastry in stores. The post snagged over 8,800 likes and a torrent of praise from commenters happy to see that this much-missed item had finally returned. Since then, Costco shoppers on the West Coast have also confirmed that they're once again seeing the almond poppy seeds at their local stores. Let's hope this comeback spreads nationwide and lands a permanent spot in Costco's bakery. Poppy seeds! Poppy seeds! One of the biggest food unicorns around is affordable organic peanut butter. And for around $10 a pop, Kirkland's signature organic creamy peanut butter can be yours in the form of a pack of two massive 28-ounce jars. When you also consider the fact that it's made with Valencia peanuts, it isn't surprising that health-conscious Costco shoppers would go nuts stocking up. Yet in early 2021, Costco stopped selling this variety and replaced it with a brand called Naturally More. Some shoppers seemed to prefer it over the original, but this substitute didn't quell most members' rage. But it turns out the pantry staple's retirement wasn't entirely Costco's decision. New Mexico and Texas had been experiencing droughts for quite a while, and the perilous conditions continued to impact farms' abilities to grow many crops. One of the affected plants was Valencia peanuts, a southern delicacy. Thankfully for Costco shoppers, their peanut problems were quickly solved. By November 2021, the Kirkland Signature brand was spotted once again in stores, with the Costco Organic Instagram posting stacks of the nut butter on sale at a location in Glen Burnie, Maryland. There was a bit of a price hike, but commenters overwhelmingly reveled in the good news and swapped tips on the spread's whereabouts. In October 2020, a Reddit user dropped some heavy news on the Costco subreddit. Pull apart cinnamon rolls were done. Not done in the sense of being baked to golden brown perfection, but done meaning discontinued. Tear and share breakfasts like cinnamon rolls never fail to delight, and Costco's economical portions totally knocked it out of the park, as an entire dozen goes for around $7 on average. Way too many brunches devoid of these gooey pastries then transpired. That is, until February 2021, when the Costco Buys Instagram shared news of the pull apart cinnamon rolls grand return. That post has racked up over 5,600 likes since then, with thrilled followers reveling in the joy of having an old favorite come back. Fans also praised the sweet treat's unbeatable price point. The numbers don't lie. According to fast food menu prices, a single Cinnabon Classic roll costs around $3.76, while 12 of Costco's gigantic pastries cost just a few dollars extra. It was a mistake for Costco to eliminate this classic in the first place, but to not buy these confections in bulk quantities while you have the chance would be the biggest mistake of all. Most certainly, we would enjoy consuming mass quantities of any substance you have to offer. One of the biggest food-related tragedies during the COVID-19 pandemic was the closure of Costco's food court. In-person dining was suspended in 2020, and with it, a majority of the food court menu, save for hot dogs and pizza. Slowly but surely, the food court eventually reopened its doors, but not every menu item hung around. The most glaring absence of all was the beloved churro. Outrage ensued, including a Change.org petition demanding that it be reinstated in stores immediately, but the damage was already done. Then, in 2021, a flyer advertising the return of Churro started popping up around stores. You would think fans would be absolutely thrilled to see the churro come back in all of its cinnamon sugary glory. Alas, many shoppers who've tried the new version are upset that they're not the same as the original. The pastry touts a larger size, which could be a good thing, except that they now cost more, to the tune of $1.49. Plus, many shoppers claim that they simply don't taste as good. 
Feeling anything other than happiness towards the Costco churro is a plot twist none of us could see coming. If you're ever craving a freshly baked snickerdoodle cookie but with a little extra oomph, then Costco snickerdoodle mini cakes should absolutely do the job. One pack includes six spiced cakes topped with a luscious swirl of cinnamon cream cheese frosting, weighing 44 ounces altogether. That's over seven ounces apiece. Shoppers gladly welcomed these hefty desserts when they arrived in the bakery aisle in October of 2021, but then they swiftly disappeared from store shelves. No surprise then that fans were sorely disappointed at this loss, with one Reddit user mourning, I've been looking for these for a while, but my club doesn't seem to have them. You've probably realized that Costco doesn't give much notice when their items go out of circulation. Luckily though, members have eagle eyes when it comes to scouting out previously discontinued goods. And the Costco Hot Finds Instagram jumped on the dessert's revival in May 2022, with an exclusive sighting of a six-pack treat on full display. Some commenters weren't particularly thrilled with Snickerdoodle mini cakes overall, however, finding the taste to be much too saccharine, but others couldn't contain their excitement for the sugar-filled delights. For any fan of spiced cinnamon bliss, this was a comeback to remember. And I'd much rather head home, bake some snickerdoodles with a few of my bros. Costco shoppers in the United Kingdom should know that their American friends are green with envy over some of the exclusive products at their fingertips. Take, for example, the lemon cheesecake, another Kirkland signature item that is sadly off-limits to members in the United States. But shoppers across the pond could buy this luscious, custard-like showstopper from the wholesaler when it was available, but then after a while, it mysteriously vanished. It's unclear when exactly the lemon cheesecake was put out to pasture. But back in June 2021, a member of the Costco subreddit shared a photo of this elusive cheesecake, after what was presumably a long hiatus in the bakery aisle. As the post header read, one of the best cheesecakes you'll have finally made a comeback after being discontinued. Hopefully so does salted caramel, too. This news was piggybacked by another commenter, who discovered through nearby locations that the cake had been retired from stores with no plans of stocking it again. There were comments urging Costco to reinstate other long-lost cake flavors. But these folks were clearly pleased that the lemon cheesecake had at least been revived from the graveyard. Costco Snack Game delivers for a variety of reasons. For one thing, there are the huge portions. For another, there are the unexpectedly tasty combinations. Kirkland's signature honey mustard snack mix ticks both of those boxes. This inventive blend was launched back in May 2019, and for a brief few months, customers could indulge in the crunchy tidbits, sesame sticks, chickpeas, pretzel sticks, and various almonds, all coated in an irresistibly honey mustard seasoning. But then, you know how the story goes, as Costco scrapped the product for the foreseeable future. To be fair, the chain never promised that this product would stick around permanently. As a matter of fact, the company warned that this savory sweet concoction would only be available while supplies last. The snack blend usually comes through around the spring and summer months before retiring at the end of the season, no doubt to make room for fall arrivals. Nevertheless, the excitement that Costco shoppers have expressed when this snack returns has been overwhelming. As one Reddit commenter exclaimed, "'Just bought some in my store earlier this week. So glad it's back.'" While another declared, "'Oh, that is surprisingly good.'" While availability is never guaranteed, knowing that snacks like this can make a comeback means that the wait is always worth it. Okay, it's worth it. Who could ever forget Costco's all-American chocolate cake? Anyone who attended a birthday celebration, graduation, or anniversary bash over the last decade has likely copped a slice of this fudgy, decadent dessert. It's big enough to feed an entire army, but the pandemic reared its ugly head once again, forcing this iconic baked behemoth off the shelves for good in 2020, thereby denying us all some serious pleasure. Considering the impact that COVID-19 has had on all our daily lives, the market for party-sized layer cakes no doubt dwindled during the time of masking and social distancing, and Costco certainly didn't want to encourage people to host meetups. Still, loyal shoppers poured in on social media to decry the chain's decision to discontinue such a popular product. As of 2022, over 8,000 Chocoholic customers had signed a Change.org petition urging the wholesaler to bring it back permanently. 
Although Costco has yet to answer the hordes of requests for this rich delicacy, they did compromise one year later with a smaller, more ethical alternative. Many all-American chocolate cakes resemble the original sweet treat in just about every way, minus the hefty size. Alas, the similarities are apparently insufficient to consumers craving the all-American chocolate cake in all of its former spectacle. As one Facebook user decreed, "'Okay, these are good, but just not the same.'" When you peruse the snack aisle at Costco, you uncover a veritable treasure trove of possibilities. There are the standard pick-me-ups like chips and pretzels, and you can also look out on something truly unexpectedly scrumptious, such as the Kirkland Signature Cocoa Dusted Almonds. These nuts are loaded with nutritional benefits like protein and fiber, while the coating of cocoa powder offers a much-needed kick to the typical snacking experience. But somehow, these chocolatey nuggets faded away from warehouse shelves without much of a warning. One particular Facebook post from 2019 bemoaned how they'd been out of commission for quite some time, with a shopper wailing, "'Why, why, why have you discontinued the Kirkland Cocoa Dusted Almonds? It was my dream snack.'" Chocolate and almonds are a pairing that never goes out of style, yet this particular example got left in the dust while other Costco snacks flourished. Thankfully, though, these almonds have since emerged out of retirement. A post from the Costco Buys Instagram in December 2020 documented the elusive snack for their thousands of followers. Though there were a few negative opinions, the majority of comments were simply heart-eyed smiley emojis, which is the ultimate expression of joy. One commenter even gleefully wrote, Merry Christmas, thus taking this culinary development as a sign that holiday miracles really do exist. They do exist. Oh. If anything can justify Costco's membership fee, it's the opportunity to buy your favorite coffee in bulk. Plenty of members especially approve of Lavazza Espresso Italiano blend, including its hefty 2.2-pound sack and steep discount. The fact that it's a whole bean variety only adds to the perks, because unlike ground coffee, it's capable of staying fresh for quite a while. Anyone who considers themselves a caffeine fiend should be buzzing off of such a frugal roast as much as they can. But somehow, Costco has seen fit to discontinue this variety before, much to our dismay. The Costco Hot Finds Instagram confirmed the situation in April 2021, showing that the asterisk signaling a product suspension had appeared on the coffee's tag, thereby marking that it was on its way out of stores. The quality-to-value ratio made it a particularly hurtful loss to shoppers, with one commenter lamenting, "'We just switched to this and love it for the price. Bummer.'" Luckily, there's no need to mourn anymore, as the Vaza didn't stay away from Costco for long. A peek on the wholesaler's website revealed that the brew is indeed back in stock, and still at a great price point. So grab a few bags while you can and sip away.